John Rappaport is set to take over. I'm going to clear out some of your calls here before he takes helm of the ship. Let's go to Josh calling in from Oregon. Go ahead, Josh. Hello? Yep. Can you hear me? Yep, you're on air. All go right. ahead. Oh, cool. So I, the biggest story for me for 2017 is definitely these tax cuts. I think these are going to be really big moving on into the future. And it's funny because Obama, with Obamacare, he lied to families saying that it was going to save them money, and the media loved it. Trump uh, tells the truth, passes tax cuts, it saves, it's going to save families money, and the media thinks it's horrible. Yeah, isn't that amazing? You can keep your plan, you can keep your doctor, and outright lie. No media calls that out, except, you know, well, I guess conservative media. And then, uh, you know, Trump says, I'm going to cut your taxes, cuts the taxes, and it's an outrage. Oh, absolutely. And now it's wonderful because thanks to capitalism, you've got uh, Wells Fargo and Fifth Third Bank Corp saying that they're going to raise their minimum wage yep. to $15. So it looks like we're winning the fight for 15 uh, Yeah, and not just that. Oh, yeah, I and mean, that's without law, by the way. That's without law. We did it just by helping the economy. And that's not the other thing. You had companies announced giving out bonuses. Other companies announced raises. Other companies announced massive donations to charity. I mean, you know. But, oh, you know, Trump is so bad with these tax cuts. I mean, these tax cuts are making Russia rich. What are we going to do? Russia is getting such a tax cut because of President Trump. Oh, no, wait, that's uh, Americans getting a tax cut because of President Trump. And thank you so much for the call, Josh. I saw this tweet from someone that summed it up perfectly. It was like Bill Clinton said, I promise. George Bush said, I promise. Barack Obama said, I promise. Donald Trump said, I did it.